friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that, you'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real... together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that, you'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops. Oh, yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Hello? Yes? 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 No, really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? 
Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. This phone represents unhindered contact with the outside world. Until they realize we don't pay the bills. This phone represents unhindered contact with the outside world. Until they realize we don't pay the bills. Vertical silverware storage. It's Max. This is no time for chit chat. We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. I can't pick that up. I can't talk to that. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. It's Max. It's Max's roach farm. I can't pick that up. I can't use these things to I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I can't pick that up. Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Guess we need to ban assault rifles. Guess he had it coming to him. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. <laughs> You're such an adorable urchin, Max. We don't go upstairs. Not since the accident. We don't go upstairs. Not since the accident. It's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. I am repulsed by his bulging eyes. I won't pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? 
Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? I guess not. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Your head is disturbingly disproportionate to your body. It's a vocal cords. You'd be amazed how much room they take up. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Don't get smart with me, bub. Or my partner will floss every last crevice on his body with your whiskers. That's unsanitary, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> yeah, you're told. Vehicles will be stolen. No way. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Soiled office space available. I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. Bosco's guns, liquor, baby needs. I see that old Mr. Bosco is generously giving away his profits to the underprivileged ski mask wearing youth of the neighborhood again. Really bad food. Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco is voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? <sighs> That's telling him, little buddy. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. Nation and blimey, the idea. So now what do we do? Now, now we get in the bus and look for them, you idiot. I knew that. Huh? Get out of Mr. Bumpus' way, you partially clad varmints. Who was that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Cushman Brothers Shows. Stop! Weird. Creepy. Stop! Stop! Hall of Oddities. Hey, what's the hold up? Sorry boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. 
Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? Don't you know who we are? I could not care less. Let us in, all your breath. Nope. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Stop! I can't pick... No, really. I can't pick that up.
It's the mother of all crawdads. Snuckies. It's the mother of all crawdads. I can't use these things together. No way, Max will spook the horse. I can't use these things together. 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 It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max paint by number books. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I gotta go to the bathroom. I hate pecan flavored candies. I can't use these things together. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. He's one hell of a soda jerk. He's one hell of a soda jerk. He really loves his ice cream. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned! I need a bathroom! They're in the back. Here's the key. There's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Snucky you? That sounds exciting. Oh, it is. Snucky you is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snucky's. Fascinating. At Snucky you were given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Cool. Now, how can I put all that Snucky you training to use for you? Are you sure Snucky you's not in the bowl coalition? Positive. Now, what can I do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Here's your key. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Sharing this experience with you has reminded me. I want Twinklies! More Twinklies! It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. I can't pick that up. I can't talk to that. It's an official Snucky's fly swatter. 
I prefer heavier artillery to take out rogue flies. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I can't use these things. I'd ride this fiendish quarter grabber, but my lumbago's acting up. Thank you.